Hey, what's up? I'm LP, and I'm gonna talk about the camera support that I bought for my Sony FX6 camera package. For my tripod, or what we call in the film industry, sticks, we call the legs of the tripod the sticks, and of course the head, the fluid head, is we just call it the head. And so well, I decided to go with the Sockler Ace XL. This is not a super expensive tripod, but it's also not cheap. I'm not a fan of Manfrotto or any of those other brand tripods when it comes to video. So I decided to go with Sockler. They're pretty much the industry standard for fluid heads when it comes to ball mounts. Um, and so that's what I decided to go with. It's a little more expensive. This setup of head and sticks costs $997.50. The head will support up to 17 pounds, which is pretty good. I mean, this camera that I have built out, I think with like lens, with my Leica R's lenses and matte box and Teradek and um, battery, uh, comes out to like 10 pounds, like almost like on the dot. So this thing falls well underneath the limit. Now, I wouldn't want to max out this thing. I mean, this is a pretty tiny head. So if you've got like a big zoom on here, this is not gonna be ideal for you. Um, you're gonna want something that can hold a, a much bigger camera. But for the most part for me, and for a lot of people, if you're you know using a small camera like this, this this tripod is, is gonna be pretty great. And it has the standard, you know, like drag. You can intensify the drag on the pan and tilt. You can even have it 100% loose, so it just freely spins. Uh, and it also has the spring in the back so that, you know, maybe you're a little, it, you can't quite get a bounce a little front heavy or back heavy. You can adjust the spring and it'll help you uh, keep your camera nice and level. And so it's not like falling over and stuff like that. And then, you know, it comes with some extra screws for mounting, you know, to your, your plates or your directly to your camera. I went with the mid spreaders. So you can either get this set up with mid spreaders or floor spreaders. And when it comes to ball heads and lightweight sticks, floor spreaders are not great. I, I hate them on these types of tripods and sticks. So I like it in the middle because in the middle, it's not on the ground, it doesn't get in the way, and you can easily put the, the sticks on an uneven surface a lot easier. The floor spreaders can kind of get in the way with that a lot, especially if you're like in the grass or, or on like, you know, it's bumpy or on a slight hill, or you're in some gravel or something. This is a lot easier for those types of surfaces. Um, and it's also, you don't have to get on like on the ground to like, to loosen the spreaders to, to, to widen out the stance of the tripod or anything like that. So I definitely, I would recommend getting mid spreaders if you're getting a tripod like this. You know, now for like if you're doing, you know, Mitchell, Mitchell head and stuff like that, then, you know, floor spreaders are pretty, I don't even know if anyone makes mid spreaders for those kind of sticks in babies. Babies are the, like the shorter sticks that they use for Mitchell um, head, ball head, or Mitchell mount fluid heads. Um, and so, you know, of course, you know, if you're doing Mitchell, you're gonna have to use floor spreaders and they're good because with the Mitchell, you can just take those floor spreaders off if you're like in grass or dirt or gravel or wherever, and you, they can just stick right into the ground. So you don't need the floor spreaders in the, that kind of terrain. And I know I, I mentioned the price of this thing basically being $1,000, but that might sound like a lot, but if you wanna go even up and just tier in the Socklers, or, or going all the way up to, to Mitchell mount. I mean, a Mitchell head is like 15, 20 grand just for the head, you know what I mean? And then you have to buy the sticks. And so like, you know, and then a nice version of these, you can pay five grand just for the head. So, it, you know, it sounds expensive at $1,000, but it's actually a really good deal. And you're getting the high quality of Sockler. Uh, they just make the best fluid heads out there. So this, this fluid head is a 75 millimeter ball fluid head and they have different sizes there's 75 millimeter and there's also 100 millimeter and i think there's even like smaller than that but you don't want to get any smaller than 75 millimeter so you know this is a pretty good size um, head for this kind of lightweight camera setup i looked at a few different you know uh, systems and i liked this one the best also because of its height. This thing can go up to 67 inches high. So, you know, after the head and then the camera, I can get above people's eye lines. So I'm six feet tall. And so this thing, I can get the camera up above my, my eye line. So it's nice to sometimes, cause sometimes, you know, maybe you have a tall actor and you want to get a shot that's just slightly higher than their eye line. If your sticks don't go that high, then it's going to get a little bit complicated and you have to like put like apple boxes underneath and stuff. And so I, that's the reason why I went with these is because they have such a high maximum height. And you know, they also get really low. So the basic reason I decided to go with this 
this head and sticks is the, the weight limit. It's Sockler, it's good quality head. And also the sticks have a really good maximum height and they have the mid spreader and they're pretty good aluminum uh, sticks. And I think they hold up to like a couple hundred pounds with, with just the sticks, which, you know, you don't want to do that because it, the head can only support 17 pounds, but it's good to know that like they're really sturdy. For support in getting the camera low to the ground, I went with this 75 millimeter ball head hi-hat. I can put the head just straight on here. And now I have full operation of the camera and it can be sitting on the ground. And so now, you know, I've got the regular pan tilt and I can, you know, do whatever movements that I would normally do on a tripod, but I can also do it really low. So you can get those nice low angle shots. Uh, this, is, this is a pretty standard item in most camera packages, especially like when we're, you know, renting from a rental house, like they all come with a hi-hat. And there's also one called a low hat. It's basically the same thing, but the, the mount is even lower. It's just a couple inches off the ground. So you can even get that much lower to the ground if you need to. Also, you know, maybe you don't wanna be all the way on the ground. Maybe you just need to be a little bit higher. You can use apple boxes and just slide apple boxes underneath and then you can get the, the exact height that you want with like pancakes, or you know quarter apples or half apples and you can adjust to get the height just to where to where you need it with the apple boxes as well and you can even sometimes like even like screw in if you know if you, this needs to be really stable on some kind of platform you the grips can you know like screw this in down to the to the wood or, or into their apple boxes or whatever um, you know you don't want to do that too much because you know if it's especially if it's like something you personally own but you know you can always swap out and get a new base for it if you know you end up getting a bunch of holes in it and you, you know this mount will come off so you can just swap out the wood if you need to um, and also what they're used for is basically what i'm using for now you know maybe you know if your camera is here it's not quite where you need to get to get the angle that you're trying to get on your subject and so your camera may actually need to be on like a countertop or something and so what you can do is just grab your hi-hat set it on the countertop and then now I've got the perfect angle of the shot that I'm trying to line up. Hi-hats aren't just for getting camera low or onto like, you know, waist high surfaces or whatever. You can also use them to get the camera up on a ladder. So if like you have like a 12 step ladder, you can put this hi-hat, set the, before you put the camera on and the head on, take the hi-hat, set it on top of, of the ladder, the very top, and then the grips will get uh, ratchet straps and they'll ratchet it to the ladder. So it's like nice and sturdy and stable. And then you put your head and then your camera on there. So then you can get really nice high angle shots. So this is a really good tool to have because it really, it's not just, for, like I said, it's not just for getting low. Like you can get really high with it too. And so, you know, I really recommend like that you get something like this for your camera package because it really opens up where you can put the camera in your location. So this particular hi-hat is by a company called ProAim and it comes with this 75 millimeter ball mount and it costs $195. So a third option for camera support is handles, like shoulder mount grip, handle grips. And so I went with these by Small Rig because they're they're pretty affordable. These handles, this is all you get. So you get you get two grips and then you get two extension arms and then you get the lightweight 15 millimeter rod mount and, and they all have rosettes and they can spin so like you can adjust and spin each you know each section of it it has the rosettes um, and this this particular one it's pretty new when i bought it it was it was um i had to pre-order it so when i bought it 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 was 249 dollars for this setup which is pretty good price there's a lot of like if you get like spider grips they're like thousands of dollars they're pretty expensive um, and these are pretty nice they've got nice grips on them so I haven't really used them too much but I, I like them just just off the bat um, and so like you can do the lightweight and do it in the on the rods but because of the cage that I have it has rosettes the airy rosettes in the sides and so the way that I'm gonna use it is I'm just gonna take them off the rod mount and I can stick them straight onto my camera. This is the way I like to do it because, you know, it's one less thing that you have on the camera and it makes it a little bit lighter. 
And sometimes you can't quite get the handles in the right position when you're using the rod mount adapter. Um, and I'll show you a little setup that is good for like shooting from the hip. So maybe you're doing handheld, but you don't want the shot to be up at your shoulder height. You know, maybe, you know, normally you're gonna be up here, but sometimes, you know, a lot of times you need to shoot at the hip. And a way that we do that a lot is just kind of flip the handles up. Flip this one up and then put this one in the back and you can lay it, like do it flat. And call this like, some people I work with, we call this like the shotgun. So then now you've got at your hip, you can you know do some nice handheld, you know, you've got your monitor on there and you can just look and you can do from the hip. And you can get real low with it. And you know, you can kind of move around a lot you know, quicker and faster like this. So it's nice to, to have the rosettes on the side of the camera because if with this, if this is here, it doesn't go out quite as wide and I, you know, I can get this set up with it, which is pretty nice. You know, handles are something you, you absolutely want with your package because, you know, when in doubt, you can, all, you can just go handheld. Be like, well, let's just throw it on the shoulder and we'll, we'll do, the, do the shot that way or do the scene handheld. Um, it just comes in really handy in a pinch when sometimes you're just running out of time and you don't have the time to, find, to get the sticks and find the right height and position. And it's just easier to just like, oh, we'll just do it handheld. We'll just throw it up and then shoot the scene. So if you're building a camera package or maybe you're expanding your camera package, I highly recommend that you get a decent head and sticks, get a high hat and get some handles. You know, whatever handles will work best with your rig, you know, you, know, the, you should get those. And so it really opens up your options on how you want to shoot your projects. It bas those are basically kind of the three main ways that you're gonna to wanna to shoot your projects anyway. So, you know, obviously there's, you know, there's cranes, there's dollies, there's gimbals, there's Steadicam. But, you know, if you don't have the money for that or you don't have those access to them, you know, these three options are gonna give you the most that you can get without having those specialty tools. And you're gonna get great shots with all these tools. It's not, you don't have to have those specialty tools to make a good film, you know? You have, you know, you come up with your own creative way that you're gonna shoot it with your lenses, the angles, um, you know, camera movement, what kind of camera movement you, movements you wanna do. And so, you know, this is a great way to start out your camera package and gives you a lot of options on how to shoot your projects. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you in the next one, going off walkie.